Hello, if you're watching this and there's no live, we're no longer live. You're on Powders with a Purpose, so we're going to do a ship butt tray tonight. So, I'll wait until people can get on. Hello. Hi guys. As you come in, say hello so I know you're on. We are doing a giveaway and it'll be later tonight after this live. Um, I'm going to be giving away a ounce, half ounce of the glow powders to one lucky winner. But you do have to comment so that I know you're on here. Let's see. There we go. So, I have a large tray. Hi, Judy. That I'm going to measure. Uh, it's actually a picture frame that I got. And I'm going to be doing, you know how the, hi, Don, the shiplap tumblers are doing with the stormy ocean underneath. I'm going to do that on a tray. So this will be part one and tomorrow we'll finish it. The tray is roughly 16 inches tall and 30 inches wide. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my God, Judy. That video you sent me was hilarious. I had to send that out to other people. I loved it. Hey, Nanette. So, we're going to use mocha, nude, and sand to do the top part. We're only going to do the top part tonight. We're going to do the, the walls part of it tonight. And I have removable vinyl to go over it. Um, before I went live, I did paint it white. That way, I want the white for down for the ocean so that those colors pop. Like I said, we'll do those tomorrow night. Um, I will later tonight or tomorrow take silicone and seal around the edges so that my, I know, so that my epoxy does not go outside of the frame. And after it's all done, I will go up the sides with whatever color happens to be close to there. That was, I, I sat there and I had to send that. It was hilarious. I was not expecting it. I was waiting to see how they were going to say kissing me. Kissimmee, Kissimmee. So, that was freaking hilarious. So, I'm just going to show you. This is Mocha. Hi, Cindy. And we're going to be using the Mod Podge in the, um, in the powders tonight. This is Sand, which is a custom color. And this is Nude. I'm doing good. Getting there anyway. So, I'm going to go ahead and start pouring the Mod Podge in those colors. And 
I do have you set up so when I bring you down, um, you'll be able to see the bulk of the tray. I brought you over closer so that you could see me and see the project better. Uh, hold on, I'm getting sticks. Stirring sticks. So this could take a little bit, so I'm gonna make quite a bit. It's like that much of the brown. The mocha. And then this is the sand. And again, it doesn't take a ton, but it does take some. Hey, Lulu. And then this is the nude. So those are the three colors we're going to use for up above. And what we're going to do tonight is we will do that. I will make it dry, which thankfully Mod Podge dries fairly quick. And I'm just stirring up the Mod Podge with the mica to get the color. Remember, Mod Podge dries clear, so you don't lose your color. If you mix it with white paint, you're going to get a lighter color. Hi, Debbie. So I'm mixing up, this is nude. Let me turn the flash on so you can see better. That's nude. And we're basically gonna be layering. So I'm gonna start with nude is the color that I'm gonna basically put on. And I'm gonna actually make some more of that because that is gonna be my base color. And look, I'm using up all of it. I see a trip because I'm going to need more. Um, so I saw the cups, the tumblers with the shiplap, ship, shiplap walls or boards. And then um, they do the stormy ocean below it. So I figured we'd do it on a tray. So again, that's nude. I'm gonna set that over there. We're gonna do this one, which is mocha. And again, I will be moving you down so that you can see what we're doing. The base is white, and I just slapped it on there because I'm going to be covering it. And again, we are having a drawing tonight based on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and tonight. Who? on the lives watching and being active if you did not say hello you will not be in the drawing because I have no way of knowing you were on replay it's only during the live so we play won't enter but you will be entered as many days as you watched so if you watched all five days you will have your name in there five times and I'll be giving away a set of glows, half ounce. And as usual, anything I do, you don't pay anything, you don't pay shipping, it is a true giveaway. So this is sand. How's everyone doing? Oh, Cindy, I've been live in my group it's just they changed. So they changed. If anyone's gone live lately, they've changed how you how it looks on live. So like before you could invite people. Now you can't. You have to go on a different device and tag them. And even then it doesn't always work. So I figured I'd go on my page, which you can't tag anyone on your page. Um, if you want to get notifications, touch your screen. There's three dots in the in the right hand corner. Click on that. Tell it to not give you notifications, and you'll get notified when I go live. I am trying to switch over to my business page because more people can actually get on and watch it. So we're using three brushes, one for each color, and then I also have Apple Barrel Nutmeg Brown. Yes, I know. They keep changing stuff, and it's like, why? You can do, you can, so in my group, I can tag people, but it lists all the people in the group and no particular order. I don't have time to go through, you know, what, 1,700 names? So we'll be using this nutmeg brown. 
to do the lines in between. And I cut up some removable bookmark vinyl from Dollar Store to do the pieces what, after it dries. So I'm going to move you guys down. And I'm going to get on here so that, because I think I'm going to move you down far enough, I'm not really going to be able to see your comments. So we're going to go in. Yeah. Hey, Dawn. I know you've been here most of the time, Dawn. Thank you, thank you. So we're going to start with new, uh, yeah, nude. Hey, Linda. And I'm going to bend you down so you can see. Let's see. I got to kind of move you around a little bit. There you go. So you're going to be able to see most of it. Um, I'm going to move it over a little bit. This is, now I forgot. For those that want to know, this is a a picture that is basically 16 by 30. Yeah. So I got a bunch of them at, well, I think in January or February um, from Lowe's where Heather works. So I got them for five bucks each. So I'm going to go ahead and do, and again, remember we're doing ship walls so it doesn't have to be perfect and I will go along the edges up along them after the fact I'm gonna do down to about here about a third is gonna be the water and I won't use all of this on here because I'll save it to continue to blend and this is nude mica mixed into uh, yeah, it's mixed into something, guys. It's mixed into my my podge. So, and I cut my strips various lengths, and you can see that it's not doing a solid color, which is great. I don't want it to. I want it to be distressed. Like I said, I'm going down. I don't care if my ocean gets on this, but I don't want to have white. I don't want to have ocean. I don't want to have white in between the ocean and the wall. Ah, hold on. Got hair. There we go. So I am coming down just a little bit lower. So, yes, Mod Podge. I've been mixing it in Mod Podge lately. It works great. Um, this was, because I knew I was going to use quite a bit, these are a heaping spoonful of the spoons like I give with your orders. So it's not very much. And you're going to see here in a minute, I have not used hardly any. And I don't care if I get it on the sides, because like I said, I'm going to come back in tomorrow. Actually, I'm going to come back in after I'm done with the ocean. And I will go up the sides and model it and distress it. So now I'm just kind of getting rid of marks. So that is nude. Oops. I'll kind of turn it up so y'all can see. As you can see, it's a very large thing. If you have any questions and I don't get them, I will go back. So now we're going to use sand and I'm going to go over it again and we'll do a couple layers here because I want differences. So and the way you get differences is to layer. Uh, this was the easiest way I could figure out how to do this. Others may be doing it differently, but I'm not doing it on a cup. So I have more time to mess with it. 
So you can see how that's coming out. And as you pull it, it gets thinner and it gets harder to pull, which is good. And remember, we're gonna be doing little oblong pieces. So, it's okay if I have areas that don't have everything. They're just all gonna look a little different. So let me move that out of the way. Again, I'll pull it up and see how this is starting to take shape. And we're gonna work with the dark brown and I'm gonna use this a little bit more sparingly. Oh yeah. You guys, this looks so good. I'll take you off the camera here in a minute and show you. And one of the reasons I'm being sparing about the darker brown is because I will go in between with nutmeg brown. So I want it to not be burned out. I'm really, really, really liking using the micas in Mod Podge to paint. Again, I don't care about that because I will go back in and do something and distress it after the fact. So I'm doing right now is just getting rid of some of the obvious brush marks. So give me just a second and I'm gonna show you. What I am painting on is a picture frame from Lowe's that they had for Christmas. And I'm using it more as a tray. We're gonna end up putting handles on it. So let me, so here's how it's looking. And I've just done a layer of all three. And I am gonna now go back in and use some more and get a little bit more textured. I'm leaving this down here white because that is where the ocean will go. And it will overlap. I won't tape that off. So yeah, this is with Mod Podge. It's mica powders with Mod Podge, so it will have a pearly effect. But it looks really cool. And I didn't worry too much about getting it solidly painted because there's going to be, you know, stuff over it. And I'm probably screaming and I don't mean to be, guys. Bear with me while I put this back in. Get you set back up. There we go. Sorry, I can't get everything in without you guys having the words or comments. And I swear this weekend I'm getting decent lights in here. So now I'm going to go back with some of the sand or nude and just lightly streak some of it. Just here and there. Now I want to create some texture. And then I'm going to use my mocha. And I'm going to come up here. Because I didn't get very good up here. There we go. And I'm going to use the, the edge of it. Because I want it light. And again, yes, there's brush marks, but we're going to be doing pieces on here to break it up. And I don't want too much of the dark brown because we're gonna use nutmeg to create the grout lines. And then I'm gonna go in one more time with sand. Had to think about that. Again, just touching it up. Here and there. So I wait, I, I really did make way too much, but that's okay. I didn't need nearly as much as I thought I would. Look how much I still have left. 
I still have a lot left in all of them. Here's the brown. Still got lots. And this, the nude that I used the most of still has a ton. So, the next step is going to be to dry this. And then I took the book sheet, the book covers from Dollar Tree, and I cut up their, I don't know what the width is, but they're two squares. And then I just randomly cut, cut various lengths. But it's got to be dry for me to do that. So... This is the boring part. But I need it dry or it won't stick. And thankfully the grout lines don't have to be perfect. Touch it and wreck it like I did. There we go. Okay. I'm going to bring you back up. Because it needs to dry for a few. Hopefully. I'm hoping we can do this next part. But it does have to dry. Like I said, we're going to use nutmeg brown. For the lines. I'm going to use a thinner. And then tomorrow, after it's all dry, I'm gonna go in to each of the rectangles and I'm gonna put a dot dot for the nails. But that'll be something for tomorrow because I wanna make sure it dries really well. In the meantime, those that were on last night, here's the cup we did. This is with Color Shift inks, liquid shimmers. And you guys have probably seen these around lately. I only have them at a cheap price for convenience. You can make your own. They're very easy to make. The trick really is to not have a ton of color. And I'm not getting a really good... Hold on. Hold on. Let me plug the light in. Maybe. There we go. So I just brought this over. There you go. Now you can really see that color shift. So that'll match the makeup tray. I will tell you that when you're using these with alcohol, because they're not, because they're homemade, they're not chemicals and all that to stabilize like the alcohol inks. So it does take a little bit longer for it to cure. This is still just slightly tacky, but that will go with that makeup tray that I did. And then here's how the daylight version of the one with, let me take that off, you can see it better. That's with the glow in the dark powder in alcohol. And it does glow in the dark. So, but you don't get, you just don't get the color. So it's really not a good idea if you're looking for the color. Because I did pink to pink, blue to blue, purple to purple, and green to green. And you can see that you can't really see. You see the pink a little bit. But it does glow. It's just too light to show you. So. But yeah, I like that. Here's the tray. There's the tray. And the cup. The tray still needs another coat. You can see it's modeled. So those will go together. And then we also dig the eggs. So let me see if I turn the light on. If you can see the shift. I'm trying to get it. Now, nah. it does shift though. That you'll just have to take my word. You can see it. And that was using a makeup sponge to put black paint and get, leave it just slightly damp. And then I brushed on the um, Color Shift powder. 
So, and it doesn't come off. The next day I went with a clean one and rubbed on it and it all stayed on. So it's gonna get loud for a minute, guys, because I'm trying to get this to dry. Um, mine did it, I believe, because I used a gloss paint, spray paint on the bottom instead of a flat, and it repelled it. But in this case, again, I was working with the color shift powder in alcohol, so it separates it some, but it also gives it cool cells. Um, if you were using just regular powder mixed in epoxy, it wouldn't do that. Um, but because of that, it did, because I was using the alcohol in it. We may have to cut this a little short and then come back on. I may not be able to do all of it tonight if I can't get it. But that tray, hi Kathy, that tray will get another layer. And because it slid a little, I'll probably add, oops, oops. pay attention Penny. It's still wet. And the brushes do wash out really well. So, but I got, if anyone remembers these book covers, removable book covers from Dollar Tree, that's what I cut up to use. Cause I don't want anything that's gonna really stick. I just want it to let me do some lines. And I could have done this with paint too, but I don't sell paint, so I wanted to do what I sell. So, how's everyone else doing on a Friday night? How many people are actually working, be it from home or have, or one of our um, people that we have to admire that they have to go into work on the front line? Because Heather's working, she works part-time at Lowe's and she's going in with a mask and they have the, the things in between. Um, so, but she can't come down and see us because we're high risk. Getting there. The other reason I want it. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't ate yet. Yeah, plexiglass. Thank you, Debbie. Y'all know me. I can't remember anything. I don't want to heat this up too much because it is Mod Podge. Almost. Almost, guys. Oh gosh, Cindy, those are my favorite. I love those. They are so good. Ah. Yeah, Don, I think I knew you were still working. Linda, I knew you were off. You're working from home. Kathy, I feel for you, hon. 
I do. Um, Heather's not necessarily around infected people, but she is in the public. So, yeah. I used to get them and take them at get them at work, but I had to wait, watch, because Heather would come steal them. So the other the other one of these I did that I have hanging up or will have hanging up. I sent Heather a picture of it. Those that know, Heather's my daughter. And um, her comment was, put two handles on it, put it on the front porch, and I'll be right there to pick it up. <laughs> I'm like, no, ma'am. This is mine. Oh, yes, the Triscuits. I think those are what I actually would get is Triscuits. She works at Lowe's part-time. She has, she works as uh, in property management full time, but she's working from home. Um, she works where I used to work and then she works part time at Lowe's um, to get some extra money. She had some medical stuff and had to get extra money to pay the bills. So she went and got a second time, second job. And this is like the third time she's been there. Oh, Cindy, if you can find the Triscuit ones. Oh, I love Triscuit to begin with. But Triscuit with those, oh, yum. So, it is dry, guys. So, I'm going to lean you back down and show you. Now, these you're going to think, what is she doing? Because I think I keep moving. Let's see. Let me do this. Aha. That seems to be better. Oh, yeah. Um, so, I'm using these to make the um, shapes so that I can go in and there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to start and I'm just going to wing it. I'm not looking for perfection. And if I need more, I have more I can cut up. So I did cut them in different sizes. Hold on. You can kind of see where I'm doing them here. So, I bought these a long time ago to use with the Cricut. Don't use them. They don't work very well. But it should work well on this because it's low tack. And it's only going to be on long enough to do the route lines. And I'm just barely pushing them on. I'm going to start across the top here. And again, like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing it. And I'm going to bring some of them out. I do want some shorter, some longer. So, and then they're going to come right off. And I'm making fairly good grout lines. So, and it was really nice because it's a grid on the back. So, it made it easy to cut them. I didn't have to measure. Because you all know if I have to measure, we're in trouble. There's a reason I have to buy twice of everything. That I'm going to do. Because I'll manage to cut that. Screw it up. So this is a little bit boring I know. But we're getting there. And I just watched somebody that did it. Like I said. I don't know that I'm doing it the way. They did it. But I'm doing it the way I want to do it. So. That's what we're doing. Yes. Now you're making me hungry for those. We have to add them to the list. We've gone out. We use Walmart and they deliver. So we haven't had, we've only had to go out in between to, uh, hi Deborah. We've only had to go out in between to get stuff like bread, some snacks. So I'm making them not even. I'm good, Deborah. How are you doing? So 
So tonight's the last night of the contest. Well, giveaway, not a contest. And when I get done with this and I get off of here, I'm going to eat first, which will probably take about an hour because we haven't cooked it yet. And then I will get everyone's name and I will get it into a will or one of those some way. And then I will go live quickly. If you miss it, that's fine. I will let you know. You're not paying anything. I will cover shipping. Because I, when I do giveaways, there's no money that you have to spend. I need a short one. So, the nice thing is, is I can cut them as I need to. But I'm getting too close to being in the same lines. Oh, Deborah, I am, you know the shiplap mug or tumblers are doing with the ocean down below? I'm doing it on a huge tray, fixture tray, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be a tray because I'm going to put handles on it. And I'll probably sell it. So, if it comes out good. And I'm just eyeballing it. That's all I'm doing. And then we're gonna, I have paint. So those that weren't on, I used Mod Podge and uh, Mica for the base. I painted the whole thing white earlier. And then I layered colors um, at the beginning of it with Mod Podge with the, with the, and I'll put all the colors. I used Nude, sand and mocha and I just layered it to get the striations because again we're, we're doing these which means it's going to not see everything and tomorrow when it's dry I'll do most of it before I get uh, go live with the second part but I'll save a few and show you how I'm making the little nail heads short ones so and I cut all of this ahead of time so that you guys wouldn't have to sit here bored watching me cut all this I'll do a long one so I think it's gonna be really cool so I'm just doing what everyone's done as a cut but I'm doing it on a tray and if I like it I'll probably do a cup and sell it as a set hey angel so we're working on a tray and you know the shiplap tumblers with the o stormy ocean on the bottom that's what i'm doing on a tray so i've already used i used mica nude mocha and sand in my podge to do the background and now i'm putting this is that dollar store book cover repositionable stuff and I cut it earlier in stripes so that I could put it on. And now we're going to have a shorter one. So I'm going to cut that. So that's what we're doing right now. And then I'm going to go in with nutmeg brown paint. And I'm going to make the lines. And then I will pull off all of these while I'm still live. So you'll be able to see how it looks. The bottom part, the bottom third, I've left white because that's where the ocean will go. And we'll, of course, use epoxy. Before I go live tomorrow, I will um, I will take silicone and run a seed of, bead of silicone around to um, seal it. That way I don't get epoxy coming out the bottom because that would not be good. So, we're just doing this fun part. There was no way for me to do this before I went live. But I did paint it white. And it didn't paint it really good white because it's all going to have color on it. So, it was just a base. And I'm just randomly picking. Like I said, I did some random cuts. I did some longer and some shorter. And I'm just randomly choosing them, trying to not make any of the lines 
the same. So, and I've got three more rows to do. And then we'll use the paint. Ah, good. Then I can watch you later. That'll be fun. I had to do a tray. So I did the cup last night to match the tray I did myself. And you can't see. Let me get... Let me get the light on it. Oh, blind myself. There we go. Now you can see. That's the one with the color shift. Uh, the color shift um, liquid shimmers. So that will go with the tray. That I did the other night. So... Allergies, guys. Not anything else. So, Angel, are you still walk, still working from home too? I got it. Stupid autocorrect. I don't know anyone else, but I sit on Pinterest, and a lot of times I look at those conversations. They are hilarious. So what I'm using on here is from the Dollar Tree, that removable book vinyl stuff that they sold. I had bought some when I first started, and it doesn't work well on the Cricut. It's too thin. I tried to use it as a stencil and that didn't work very well it was pretty much a fail so but it, it is removable and it won't pull up this paint so and that's what i didn't want using it with the mod podge is different than using paint just simply because you're not going to have some of those same issues that you do with paint uh, because it's not going to want to lift as much. So, we're getting close, guys. I think two more rows and I'm good. I want it down far enough that I can cover part of it with the ocean. Of course, we'll be using the different blues and what have you using deep blue sea and we'll be using tranquil and we'll be using sea foam and then I will be using white epoxy dye because none of my none of my white um, powders stay white when you're doing this you really need the dye or whatever there's another thing Debbie I forget you bought some cast something or other that you can use I'm getting there, guys. I promise. I really wanted to get it done so I can show y'all live. This next part won't take very long. This is the part that takes the longest. I need some smaller cuts because I'm getting too close to everything being the same. And I don't want that. Cast and craft. Thank you, Debbie. I knew you had got some. Yeah, no. Micah just does not do well in that respect for the ocean, for waves, for whatever. Um, it needs something that's more opaque because it just, the powders just get lost. Okay, guys. One more row. And we'll be good. I really don't want these all the same, so I'm trying to get them different. It's 
So, whew. What's the weather like where you guys are? We were fairly decent, but now I'm hot. It's hot in here because we keep it warmer. And I don't know if he has the AC on or if he has the heat on. So, it goes fairly quick, guys. Um, I'm going to take you off and let you see what I've done before I start the paint. Just so you can see what I'm doing. And tomorrow I'm going to get in the garage and find the overhead lights and get some overhead lights in here so that you can see better. And again, I wasn't worried about making sure the spaces were all correct. It's going to snow there, Kathy. That sounds actually right now really good just because I'm hot. <laughs> Probably wouldn't in reality if you're having to deal with the snow already more. You probably want it to go away. But for those of us that have been hard, we hit a record yesterday or day before, day before of 97 was our record high. I'm going to keep those because if I do a cup, I'll use that. Hey, guys, let me take you off of here. Told you I'm hot. And here we go. There we go. So all of this will come off. I'm fixing to paint the line in between. And if you give me just a second... Without me dropping my phone, I'm going to get the paint ready, and then I'll take you off and I'll hold you in paint with one hand. So, the nice thing is, it's okay if I get paint on the vinyl, and I'm going to actually get, I think, a bigger, a little bit bigger brush. So, I want to do this fairly quickly. Yes, I'm in Dallas. Are you here in North Texas? Lisa? Yeah, I'm in. I'm just south of Dallas. Okay, guys, I'm going to turn you around. I've got my paint. I'm not going to touch down there. I'm only going to touch up here. It doesn't have to be perfect. And again, I'm not worried about the sides because I will do those after I'm done to match what wherever everything lies. So you can see this goes really quick. If I can show you what I'm doing. It's not easy holding a camera and trying to do this. Oh, really? <sighs> Carmen, I'm in Cedar Hill. Seriously, I did not know that. Lisa, where are you? Holy heck. Carmen, I'm over on the east side off Mount Lebanon. So, let me come back over here. And I think I'm just going to do these long lines first. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say that, but we definitely got to get together once this is over. That is awesome. We actually have quite a few people in Cedar Hill, and we have a fairly large group that we meet every once in a while that live in different areas around. So you can see I'm just lightly going over it. It's okay. It's not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want grout lines. That is awesome. That excites me to know there's somebody here local. You're on Mount Lebanon? Oh my gosh. So I'm off of, um, I know where Malakoff, I've seen it, but I'm not sure exactly where it is. Carmen, I am off of, uh, I, I think you're on the other side. I'm on the side that Ellen's is on. So if you're getting off 67 southbound, you would make a left, not a right. 
but still you're like within minutes of me. That is freaking cool. Yeah, I've see I have to look up Malakoff, Lisa, because I've seen that before. Which is awesome. We all have to get together. So again, I'm just I'm sorry guys, I'm really horrible about holding the camera so you can see. After everything goes back to normal, I'm getting a new setup. It's near okay. That's where I was saying. Yeah. So you're you're on the east side. Still not very far though. I usually just say Dallas because people don't know where Cedar Hill is. And if you're not familiar with the Dallas area, it, it's you ain't gonna find it. I had somebody drive down to give me something from North Dallas, and they're like, "Oh my God, this is forever." I'm like, "Yeah, it won't be going home though." It just seems like it. I'm originally from California, so traffic here is like, pfft, no. Traffic is three hours in the morning and four hours at night to get home. So again, I'm just going in between. I did this just to get the grout lines. It may not be a clean, which is also fine. I've not done the bars in between. Your hubby works in color. I used to work in North, now I've lost, there we are. I used to work in North Dallas. I'm not sure where I'm going to be now. Depends. If it's where, I, if I get the job I hope to, it's going to be up in, the office will be in North Dallas, but the property will be in South Fort Worth, South Eastern Fort Worth. So it'll be a quick drive for me. Oh, okay, yeah, on Tar Road, you turn left for me and go down to um, the next main street, which is Capricorn. Holy moly. We live really close together. Carmen, I will private message you after this so that we don't fall out of touch. That's awesome. So hopefully you guys can see. Yeah, there we go. I'm trying. I know it's Friday. Although these days, everything just runs together. Or at least for me. I'm not used to being at home. Okay, so I've done all those lines. Hi, Sylvia. Now I'm going to come in and get this. And again, I'm not too worried. Like I said, I'll be coming back in and uh, going up the sides once it's all done. So I'm going to do this one carefully just because I don't want to bunch down there. This is the bottom row and I'm just using craft barrel paint. Craft barrel. Craft barrel. Yeah, apple barrel. Sorry guys. So we got that. Now I'm going to kind of, let's see. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Hopefully it'll turn out good. Not everything I do does. I'm known for plenty of failures. So again, I'm just getting these cross pieces. I'm not wanting a huge difference in color. I want enough that you're gonna know that it's got grout lines. And it's only using a tiny bit of paint. So this project, you could make not counting epoxy, your supplies would be probably not counting if you had to actually buy everything that I'm using, but you already have it. It would be about $2 without getting a tray. And I, like I said, I got them. Heather, my daughter works at Lowe's and they had them for four bucks, I think. So I got like 10 of them. And I already did one. If you go on my personal page, I posted it with a saying on it that I did. And that's going to go in my kitchen. 
I just have to hang it still. Because, you know, we might be off work, but who wants to do anything? Except play and craft. I'm just dabbing it in. Hopefully this isn't too boring, guys. Sometimes you got to do the boring part to get to the exciting part. Okay. So I've done all that. And I'm going to start up here. Do I have the... There we go. I don't know why the light keeps going off. So I'm actually going to put you back up here because I can't do all of that. So we're going to start down here. I'm going to pull it up. Okay, guys, <laughs> it did it. Those that don't know me, I'm easily entertained. So, I am just using my tweezers, which have a very pointy end. In fact, they have such a pointy end that they come with this to hold them because they're very, very sharp. And some of us are klutzy. Not me. I'm that person that has bruises. I have no idea where they came from. And would slice our fingers. So I'm really liking this. <gasps> um, it's not lifting up the Mod Podge with the stuff in it. But yet, it's keeping fairly clear lines. So give me a minute to get a little bit further along and you'll be able to see more of it. Now, the paint is still wet. I've been seeing the tumblers, and I, I thought, why not do a tray that way? You know? So, I thought, well, that's what we're going to do. And I really like using the powders in the Mod Podge for painting. You, it self-seals itself because it's Mod Podge. Okay, so question of the night, guys. How many people have to pick epoxy out from underneath their nails? Because, you know, we don't always have gloves on. Just bear with me, guys. As soon as I get this off, I'll bring it back down to look. Now, I will epoxy the entire thing. Stephanie! How are you doing? You owe me a conversation, girl. So we are doing the shiplap technique on a tray. And we used mica powders, mocha, sand, and nude, and Mod Podge to do the paint. On a white, glossy, apple barrel paint I used. And then I used Apple Barrel Nutmeg Brown for the grout lines. I don't know what else to call them. And I really like it. And then tomorrow we'll go live. Because I want it to dry really good. Before I try to put my, uh, epoxy on it. And tomorrow we'll go live. And we will do the angry sea down at the bottom with more micas. Possibly some glow. Because, you know, almost everything I do has to have glow. So these are coming off really easy. The paint, as you saw, I went in immediately and started pulling them off. And I expect the mod, the epoxy to go over this lowest lo uh, row, so I don't care that I don't have an outside grout. I'm fine with that. I just kind of visually put it into thirds, and it's really almost more like half. There's going to be water. I think it's going to be really pretty. So. 
and uh, tomorrow I will go in and put the nail heads in the corners. I'll do most of them before I go live, but I will save some for when I go live just so you can see how I did it. If I can find it, which is not always a given. I have a brown permanent marker that I was figuring to use, and I figured I'd just dab some Mod Podge over so the epoxy wouldn't smear it. So anyone that's used a permanent marker, if you've done that, let me know how it worked. The other option is to take the paint and dip the end of the brush into it and do it, which I could do too. I just was trying to do something that I wouldn't have to wait for it to dry. So, you guys may not be seeing it on there, but there definitely is grout lines. And again, all I used was that school book covers from Dollar Tree is what I cut up to use to do this. That's what the pink is. So... And I usually, if I find a deal like these, which were like, like I said, I think they were $4 each. I bought 10 of them. Because I knew that I could do all kinds of things. This one's going to end up being a tray with handles. I'll probably go with more of a modern handle. The skinny, long ones. In silver. And I'll just go on the edges here. But again, I will do the outside when I'm completely done. Because then I'll know where the colors are. And I'll drag the colors. I'll mix some with Mod Podge and drag them up the side. And then I'll probably do a distressed wood tone on the top and sides to finish it. These trays also come with a hanger on them already, so they can be hung. Last one, guys. Yay! Okay, I'm going to take you off of this. I'm really happy with it. So here it is. Get my shadow out of the way. There it is, guys. This is what I'm talking about here. I'm not worried about that because I will come up and mix the Mod Podge and distress it along the side. And I'm not worried about down here because I'll bring the ocean up. So I really like that. You can see the lines. They're not super, super dark. Like I said, what I'm going to be doing is putting a dot of dark brown here, 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 and here on each one of these. And I'm thinking of dark brown, but I may do black. But see, you can even see them down here in this darker paint. So, and like I said, that'll clean up. I'll go in with several of the different colors and distress it. But that makes me happy. Even if the brush marks, you don't, you just don't really notice them because you're only seeing certain parts. So, and then here's the white part. And I didn't care if I got full coverage. You can kind of see the words that were under it. It was, they were for Christmas. And like I said, I don't, didn't care about that because I'm going to be putting epoxy with blues and it's going to cover all that. So... I'm going to get off and let everyone go. I'm going to eat dinner and then I'll pop back on and draw. If you commented on the lies, you will be entered into the drawing for a set of glow powders. If you did not comment, I don't know you were here. So I, you won't be included. And this ran over five nights. So, but I will be back tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow night. Like I said, it's hot in here, guys. Um, tomorrow during the day. Sorry. I'll post what time. And uh, to do the rest of it, I will take silicone and I will go around the edges to seal it. That way I don't have epoxy going out underneath. So, but yeah, I'm happy with it. There we go. That's going to look cool, especially when I put the nail, the
things. And I'm really leaning towards black just to get that pop. So. I got, well, let me turn it. Okay, guys. Let you go. I'll be back on just a little later. It'll probably be an hour, hour and a half before I do it, the drawing. And then I will see everyone tomorrow. I'll post what time. It will be in my business group. Hi, Susie. Um, and then I'll share it, of course, in the in the group. It'll be on my business page, and I'll share in the group. So, night for all. Be safe. And I'll be back short in a little bit. I'm not going to wait for everybody to get on. I'll do the drawing. I'll announce the winner tag yet, and I'll be off. So, if you don't get on it, don't worry about it. That's fine. Um, I just like to do it live so that um, you can see that there's no... Like I said, if you were... Not how many comments you made, but how many lives you commented on. So if you commented on all five days, you will have five entries into this. If you only did it on one, you'll have one. If you did it on three, you'll have three. So that's how I decided to do it. All right, guys. See you later. Thanks for supporting me. Bye.